No Wi Fi. No Wi Fi. No Wi Fi. I use my own.
जय जय सीताराम सब कोई प्रेम से बोलो महापति महादेव की जय स्वागत सीताराम नमस्ते जय गुरुदत्ता ओम साई राम वेलकम स्वागत दिस इवनिंग टू अवर वन हंड्रेड एंड टेंथ एडिशन ऑफ शिवोहम यूनिवर्सल हीलिंग थ्रू वनस अ प्रोग्राम दिस इवनिंग इज बीन ब्रॉडकास्टेड लाइव फ्रॉम द ब्यूटिफुल शिव गणेश मंदिर हियर इन ब्राह्मटन ऑन्टेरियो एंड लेट बी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई लाइक टू थैंक the spiritual leader here pandit ram ji and of course our dear uncle ban singh ji for thank you so much for allowing us you and the members allowing us to facilitate this evening this broadcast live of course it is on um uh, you, it will be on youtube shortly but tonight we are broadcasting live on facebook due to our bandwidth issues and certainly uh, we are also on bhakti tv my dear brother pandit satyanand maharaj ji thank you my dear brother for carrying us live on bhakti tv as well I'm being joined this evening by my dear brother. You'll meet him shortly, Dinesh Bhabia. Thank you so much for joining me, brother. On the bhulak, of course, Pamji, Didi Pam Ramsekal, who will be accompanying me on uh, the vocals, and of course, Pandit Ramji and a couple of devotees here at Shiv Ganesh Mandir. As we always do, let's give praise and thanks to Bhagwan this evening as we begin our session of devotion. This beautiful Diwali set segment. We sit upright for a few minutes. We clap, clasp our hands, bow our heads in Dhyan and pray. Principal of Ajahn Swami Ki Jai. Relax your minds. Relax. Just drop your shoulders and breathe. Hari O. Join us this evening. 
We are broadcasting live tonight from the Shiva Ganesh Mandir here in Brampton, Ontario. Let us sing as we always do. The six beautiful verses composed by Adi Shankaracharya Ji, beautifully glorifying Bhagavan Shiva. It's called the Nirvana Shatakam. The chorus, Chidananda Rupaha, Shivoham, Shivoham. Clap your hands, sing along with us this evening. Prince of Omapati Mahadeva Ki. Om Anokodhyanankar Chitta Ninaham Nachastro Haji Bhave Nachakra Hanitri Nachakro Composed and written by Goswami Tulsidas Ji, his beautiful prayer called Mangal Ashtakam, as he glorifies Bhagwan Shri Ganesha, Mother Saraswati, the goddess of knowledge, Mother Vani, the goddess of speech, and of course, the sage Valmiki, the author of Ramayana. We sing, we sit upright once again as we chant now Shri Balkan Ram Charitamans. <laughs> Shraddha Vishwasu Pino 
Lord Ganesha, I salute thee to give thy a boon. Let us sit upright once again. We call upon her lunch, Ganesha. Shugalam Paradharam Vishnu Shashi Varanam Chatur Bhujam Prasanna Madanam Dhyaye Sarva Vigano Prashante Agacha We glorify Bhagavan Shri Ganesha now with his beautiful pleasure and says, Let us bow in reverence to Lord Ganesha. Let us bow in absolute purity in the name of Sai to the elephant faced Lord Ganesha, constantly remembering and purifying the name of this Lord. The sacred feet of Sadhguru we are purifying, so the name of Sai and Ganesha, which removes the fear of the cycle of birth and death. Principle Gajanan Swami Ki Jai. I'd like to ask all of you tonight clap your hands and sing along with us. Ganesha Sharanam Param Pavaram Sadhya Sai Gajananam Ganesha Sharanam Param Pavaram Sadhya Sai Gajananam Nitya Swaranam Param Pavaram Yes, I 
से बोलो गजानन स्वामी की जय एंड वी नाउ गो इन टू इलेवन रेसिटेशन ऑफ द महामंत्र द गायत्री मंत्र इफ यू प्लीज सिट अप राइट इफ यू कैन प्लेस योर हैंड्स लाइक दिस योर पाम्स फेसिंग अप ऑन योर लैप्स नॉट डाउन एंड अप and just to close your eyes and sit upright like this as we chant the gayatri mantra 11 times i want you to feel the energy you will feel like your body wants to lift off the ground focus on ma gayatri do you have a murti of ma gayatri in the mantra do you have gayatri mata in the mantra no not yet all right if you focus on your ish devata or any of the murtis the beautiful forms of the murtis let us chant gayatri mantra prem se bolo shri gayatri mata ki jai take a deep breath भुवस्व तत्सुर्वरेण्यम भर्गोदेव धीमे यूयूना प्रचोदया भूर्भुवस्व तत्सुर्वरेण्यम भर्गोदेव धीमे यूयूना प्रचोदया भूर्भुवस्व तत्सुर्वरेण्यम भर्गोदेव धीमे यूयूना प्रचोदया भूर्भुव स्व तत्सुर्वरेण्यम भर्गोदेव धीमे यो यो न प्रचोदया भूर्भुव स्व तत्सुर्वरेण्यम भर्गोदेव धीमे यो यो न प्रचोदया भूर्भुव स्व तत्सुर्वरेण्यम भर्गोदेव धीमे यो यो न प्रचोदया भूर्भुव स्व तत्सुर्वरेण्यम भर्गोदेव धीमे यो यो न प्रचोदया भूर्भुव स्व तत्सुर्वरेण्यम भर्गोदेव धीमे यो यो न प्रचोदया भूर्भुव स्व तत्सुर्वरेण्यम भर्गोदेव धीमे यो यो न प्रचोदया भूर्भुव स्व तत्सुर्वरेण्यम भर्गोदेव धीमे यो यो न प्रचोदया भूर्भुव स्व तत्सुर्वरेण्यम भर्गोदेव धीमे यो यो न प्रचोदया प्रेम से भोषित गायत्री माता महारानी की जय वी कंटिन्यू नाउ फ्रॉम महागायत्री टू आवर गुरुज The mantra says, Guru the Brahma, Guru the Vishnu, Guru the Devo Maheshwara, Guru the Sakshat the Parak Brahma, Tasmay Sri Guru Devi Maha. Our scriptures teaches us, Matru Deva Bhava, Pitru Deva Bhava, Guru Deva Bhava, Acharya Deva Bhava. Our mothers are always first. We are in celebration now of in this season, festive season of the Pavali, and Mata Lakshmi, our mother, divine mother. Tonight we are glorifying her name. our own mothers and fathers if if our mother those of you here and those of you listening online as well if your parents are alive and if you are in the same home with your parents i want you to make a bee line to their feet bow to their feet seek their blessings if your parents have gone to be on bring that image of their parents into your center of your forehead and bow to them you see that blessing is the greatest blessing in this world when mother and father blesses you tonight we glorify the guru with this beautiful bhajan it says guru matru pita guru bandhu saka मेरे चरणों में स्वामी तेरी कोटि प्रणाम मदर फादर फ्रेंडशिप द बॉन्ड फॉर लाइफ यू ऑलवेज रिजाइड इन माय हार्ट तेरी चरणों में स्वामी आई बाउ टू योर फीट यू आर माय डिवोशन यू आर माय पावर यू आर माय सल्वेशन यू आर माय शिव यू आर माय इंस्पिरेशन यू आर माय प्रैक्टिस यू आर माय वर्शिप यू आर माय एडोरेशन इट मेक्स बीइंग इन द कंपनी ऑफ लॉर्ड शिव अ रियलिटी व्हेन आई एम एट योर फीट ओ गुरुदेव यू आर माय लव यू आर माय कंपैशन यू आर माय सल्वेशन यू आर एज डियर टू मी एज माय ओन हार्ट we all have many gurus in our life anyone who teaches us something is a guru we have musical gurus sangeet gurus acharya gurus and most of us will have a spiritual guru mine has gone to the beyond already the late shri pandit ram prasad tiwari also known as dargi baba those of you from dehradun will know very well beautiful wonderful soul indeed it is because of his blessings and those of my forefathers that i can sit amongst you tonight and to elaborate or to to narrate for you katha let us blend our voices tonight as we sing guru matru pita guru bandhu saka jiti cross me sa guru matru pita guru bandhu saka guru matru pita guru bandhu saka mere charan mein swami mere ko ti मानना तुम प्रियता तुम 
from all of the continents tonight, as far as East Africa, Mauritius, India, Guyana, Trinidad, Suriname, and all across North and South America. France, England, welcome. Sapswalatam to our broadcast this evening. We are broadcasting live from the Shiv Ganesh Mandir. Beautiful Shiv Ganesh Mandir. I will share with you all of the beautiful movies here in just a minute. And they also have a flying Hanumanji with you. When we get to the Charlie Sai, you'll see them in action. Tonight, you know, blessed we are always blessed to be in the company of each other in this virtual collaborative set center. Om Trayamba Kamya Jam Hi Sudanim Pustivar Nan Urvaru Kamiva Vandana Vichar Bhushyama Amta Chidananda Rupa Shivoham Shivoham. Devotees, let's take a minute tonight to call our friends and relatives, send them a WhatsApp message or a quick messenger. Let them know that Shivoham is on the air. And just as you would if you're having a little puja at your home, to invite them, so to speak, so that they too can share the devotion that we are about to experience as we dedicate this program in celebration of the Bhavali. Let us share this collective spiritual healing vibration all across this planet. Tonight, for those of you on Facebook Live, I'd like you to tag at least three people who may not be aware that this program is on the air, bring them on to the feed tonight and share it on your walls and your pages. Tonight we perform a very special arti for the day we will do daily arti tonight. And we have Uncle Banson as our shota, we have Padel Ram here as well. We will conduct that for us in a few, in a few moments, towards the end of the program that is. We will also have a little uh, offering of prasadam for the daily as we continue with our broadcast this evening. Let us begin tonight. Today, today is, tonight, tonight, sorry, it is Tuesday night, Mangal Mahal. And who do we worship on a Tuesday? Pawanaputra, come on, you can say it. Pawanaputra Hanumanji, the storehouse of energy. So powerful tonight. You know, it's always a pleasure to be here at Shiva Ganesh Mandir. And tonight, we'll glorify him. We'll sing the original version of Sri Hanuman Chalisa, given to us by the late Dadaji, Sri Pandit Hariyom Shananji, many, many years ago, which made Sri Hanuman Chalisa popular all across this world. Tonight, we blend our voices as Gidi, who will chorus with me as well, and devotees all across the world tonight join as we sing and chant and glorify Mahavir Swami, 40 glorious verses of Sri Hanuman Chalisa. You know, every week on Shivoham, I receive several text messages, phone calls, even WhatsApp messages of devotees who are sick and suffering. There are so many across this world, all over this world, that reach out, Baba, can you pray for me? Baba, can you send some blessings to me? Well, this is how we do it. You see, collectively tonight, all of us here and online as well, think of someone you know who is in the hospital. I know personally of many who are in ICU, who are in the recovery ward, who are in hospice, who are perhaps on their final days or final breath. Tonight, we ask Mahavir Swami to channel the positivity that we'll experience now with the Sri Hanuman Chalisa chanting to all those who are sick and suffering, we pray for a speedy recovery. I know uh, Uncle uh, Auntie is, is not doing well. We send this beautiful recitation of Sri Hanuman Chalisa, all of that energy to us for a speedy recovery. Let us pray. Pray the soul of Bhavana Putta Hanumana Ki Jai Sri Guru Charana Sarojana Nijamana Mukuru Sudha Sumirao Pavan Kumar Bal Budhi Vedya Dehu Mohi Har Hukale Sarvikar Let your voices clap and sing with me, come on! Jai Hanuman Gyan Gun Sagar Jai Kapi Siddhi Hulu Karuna Yeah. 
This evening, I promised you, you will see the flying Hanumanji. For those of you who are joining us virtually, there you see in the background, Pandit Ramji, Uncle Ban Singh, and of course, Didi and Hanumanji flying away there, you see. Beautiful indeed. One of the only mandirs, I think, in the area that has this murti. Beautiful indeed. And there, the beautiful altar we will share with you once the puja is started. This evening, I would like I would like to ask all of you online, if you would, share your Diwali greetings. This is our Diwali program, or Diwali special, of course. Diwali, just a quick reminder. The correct timing for Diwali, Diwali, the, the, the Titi, begins tomorrow night, Wednesday night, at 8.33 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please do not follow Google Baba. Google Baba will give you the time for India. Follow Neil Baba, okay? So the timing is 8.33 p.m. tomorrow night, and it will finish on Thursday the 4th at 5.14 p.m. So we are accustomed, you know, back in the Caribbean, lighting our deers at 6 p.m. Please light your deers before 5.14 p.m. on Thursday, and you can let them light all night. Diwali finishes at 5.14 p.m. on Thursday. So anytime from 8.33 p.m. tomorrow night, Wednesday, till Thursday at 5.14 p.m. anywhere in the Eastern Standard Time Zone. I can't speak for other time zone, but in our time zone, that is the timing for Diwali. So please be guided, okay? Prem Swaladi Shakti Devi Lakshmi Mata Ki Jai. Please excuse me. We speak about the mother, the Divine Mother tonight. This beautiful bhajan, it brings tears to one's eyes. Because when we speak of the mother, when we compare ma mother and father, not compare, we put them side by side. We always approach the mother in a very soft and a subtle manner. We don't walk up to the mother and say, hey girl. No, no. We go very softly and gently, ma, very lovingly. Because her response to us, despite how we approach ma, is always one that is loving. And tonight we are going before all of the Divine Mothers here in this audience tonight, and those of you in the audience as well, virtually as well. And we sing this beautiful bhajan and says, oh ma, how dare is your affection to us? How much love awakens in us? It protects us in every breath safeguards our lives at every single step. You are the wealth and prosperity of the Rishis, O Mother. You are the devotion of Lord Brahma. You are the Maya or the illusionary power of Lord Vishnu. You are the divine creative energy, O Shakti of Lord Shiva. You create destiny within your own hands and you always come to our rescue, O Ma. You are the great mother goddess Kali, Mother Durga, and the childlike Bhavani. You are the goddess Tara and Sharda, Saraswati, described in the Puranas. You are the language of the Vedas. You take us all as children under your kind protection. Ma, we call upon you this evening. This beautiful bhajan, you all know it. Ma, teri mamta kitni pyari, kitna pyar jagati hai. Tonight as we sing this beautiful bhajan, I want you to focus your attention on any of the divine mothers beautifully here on the altar. From Mother, Mother Ganga, we have Mother Durga, Mother Saraswati, Mother Lakshmi, any of the divine forms of Shakti tonight as we sing. Materi Mangata Kitni Pyari Kitna Pyari Jagati Hai Kitna Pyari Jagati Come on, everybody, go, sing! Materi Mangata Kitni Pyari Beautiful Kitna Pyari Jagati Hey, hey, hey. 
Let it illumine our internal organs inside our minds, our bodies and souls and let it radiate from our faces as we smile. Those of you wearing masks tonight, you can smile at me. Mata sees through the masks, alright? If you sit upright, it will be one second as I chant the following mantras. Hari Yo Iti Shri Mahalakshmi Astakastotrama Namaste Stu Maha Shri Pete Sarbhujite Shanga Chakra Gada Haste Mahalakshmi Namostate Namaste Garura Rude Kola Surya Bhayankari Sarvapapa Hare Devi Mahalakshmi Namostate Sarvajde Sarvabarde Sarvadushta Bhayankari Sarvadukha Hare Devi Mahalakshmi Namostate Siddhi Buddhi Pradeh Devi Bhukti Mukti Pradayani Mantra Murti Sada Devi 
महालक्ष्मी नमस्तुते आध्या रहिते देवी आध्या शक्ति महेश्वरी योग जे योग संभोगे महालक्ष्मी नमस्तुते स्थूल शुष्मा महारुद्रे महाशक्ते महोदये महापाप हरे देवी महालक्ष्मी नमस्तुते पदमासनिस्ते देवी पर ब्रह्मा स्वरूपिनी परमेशी जगन्माता महालक्ष्मी नमोस्तुते स्वेताम भरे देवी नानलंकार भूषिते जगत्स्तिते जगन्माता महालक्ष्मी नमोस्तुते महालक्ष्मी अष्टक स्तोत्रम यक्पते भक्तिमा नरह सर्वसिद्धापनोदी महालक्ष्मी प्रसादतह एकाले पत्ये नाम महापाप विनाशनम दिवाकलम या पत्ये नाम भंडनाये समानवितह त्रिकालम या पत्ये नाम महाशत्रु विनाशनम महालक्ष्मी भवे नित्यम प्रसन्ना वरदा सुभा इतिश्री महालक्ष्मी माता महारानी की जय। I am sure you all felt the positive vibrations emanating tonight from Shakti Devi Ma, Lakshmi Mata. I would now like to ask our Didi Pam, Ramsakal Ji. Pam Ji, if you can come a little maybe forward and face this way so we can get you right. Maybe this way and just face, face, face me. Yeah? Okay. As while she prepares the bhajan, tonight let me do some quick introductions. Joining me on Dholak tonight is my dear Bhaiya, uh, Shri Dhanesh Vipiya. Thank you. Dhantal, Shri Vishnuji and Dhantal and we have several members of the Congregation, Nidhi is here with us as well, Pandit Ramji, and of course, Uncle Ban Singh is there. And uh, I already showed you the beautiful flying Hanumanji, and uh, certainly uh, all the beautiful Mojis will take you close up there very shortly when the puja begins. Tonight, I am very blessed, we are very blessed to have in our company one of the uh, singers here, one of the vocalists here at the, the Shiva Ganesh Mandir, and this is Didi Pam Ransakal, who will do a beautiful bhajan for us on the dedication hour on this Diwali program. Please enjoy. Go ahead, you can start with the invocation and I'll wrap it up.
indeed one of the lead singers here at the Shiva Ganesh Mandir in Brampton, Ontario, Canada. And by the way, I noticed some of the comments that were coming through that you all are enjoying the program and of course enjoying the ambiance and the murtis that we have here. Beautiful murtis indeed. I'd like to invite you all to a three session Gyan Yagya right here at the Shiva Ganesh Mandir, which begins on the Panjit, the third, is it? Third? The third, fourth, and fourth. so Friday the third, Saturday the fourth of December that is, and Sunday morning the fifth of December. And Saturday night, on the fourth of December, we are celebrating a very very special birthday that is of Pandit Ramji. So please come. I'm inviting you all, and uh, he will be bringing nice vegetarian cake for us to, to enjoy. So at the fourth, uh, third, fourth, and fifth of December, right here, myself, host of other musicians. Uh, and all of the Kirtan group, etc., will be here. Uh, we'll be doing different scriptures, reading from different scriptures. Once again, Didi, thank you so much for that beautiful bhajan. The, my, uh, the feed here is going crazy. Uh, they love your singing. Beautiful indeed. Those of you here in the, in the audience, uh, give her a nice round of applause. Huh? Come on. <laughs> thank you again for being part of this special Diwali program. There's a brief, I will, I will share with you now a very brief message as we do on Shivoham. And then from that, we will go into a little offering of prasadam. We'll have some more bhajans, and then we'll do Arati on Uncle Singh. I'll, I'll ask both Pandit, uh, Pandit Ramji and Uncle Ban Singh to say a few words to the Shivoham family all across the world tonight, and those of you joining us here as well. Tonight, it's a special night because we are just two days away from Diwali, Dipavali. What does Dipavali mean? So growing up in Trinidad, Dipavali would mean to me, as a young kid, mommy starts to get a little bit irate because she wants the house clean, she wants the yard clean, and if you don't do it, you're going to get boof. You understand boof, now? You're going to yell that. And uh, it was a competition for me, yes, because we had cousins living right around, some of you on tonight, uh, right around the village. So we, the competition was to see who can light the most deers, whose house will be the brightest. Then came the age of the stereo, so who can play the loudest music? So it, it was always a competition, you know, but nevertheless, it was the spirit and the theme of celebration. You know, Diwali time was festive. I remember our, our kitchen counter used to be filled with prasad and sweets because what we would do is mom would prepare all of the prasad and sweets and I would take my bicycle and go down the whole street and deliver prasad to everybody's house. But when you're coming back, you're coming back with twice as much because it was an exchange of love. And you know, this, this is what Diwali is all about, you know. Uh, in these times, I don't know if we even have that opportunity. We send text messages now, hey, happy Diwali, right? Devotees, Dipavali means array, it's an array of lights, light. Tamaso ma jyotirgame, the mantra tells us, lead me from darkness onto light. This is what the Upanishads teach us. And this is the spirit of Diwali. If we celebrate Navratri, not if, when we celebrate Navratri twice a year, then comes Dipavali. What are we doing? Tamaso ma We are supposed to rid this body, this mind, and this soul of anything that's negative. We are supposed to come out of Navratri and Dipavali smiling and shining and being the light. Not just, not just thinking of the light, but being the light. When you, when you meet someone, don't frown, smile. Tell the person I love you. It doesn't cost you anything. Be the light. It means, Dipavali, that where there's darkness, light is needed. And the world is dark today. Would you agree with me? COVID-19, the world is dark. Here we are in this beautiful ashram this evening. Such wonderful people all across the world tonight celebrating with us. What is this darkness we speak about? If we turn off the lights, is that darkness? No. Sorrow is one form of darkness. Many of us have lost, lost loved ones over the past 19 months due to COVID-19. I myself. Peacelessness, when someone becomes restless, that's another form of darkness. And we just talk about this loss. Loss is another one. Disappointment is also a form of darkness. When we don't get what we want, our desires are not fulfilled, we become disappointed. That's darkness. Misery, yet another darkness. And the lack of enthusiasm, when someone is just lethargic, when someone is just lazy, slow, doesn't want to do anything, doesn't feel like getting up in the morning, that is darkness. Devotees, all of these are different forms of darkness. And to get rid of the darkness of sorrow, we have to light the lamp of happiness. And how do we do that? By sharing. Sharing means caring. My little son always taught me this. Whenever he wanted candy and I didn't want to give him, he said, Daddy, you know, sharing is caring. Very smart kid. All of these devotees 
are ways to dispel the darkness and the disease of ignorance and live the light of health, of health. To get over darkness and losses and failures, you have to usher the light of prosperity. Looking at the Diwali festival now, from a scenic point of view, it should be noted that, that at one time, in a distant past, our ancestors lived in the Arctic regions, yes, up north in the polar regions. And in these regions, those of you who have been to Alaska or even the South Pole, darkness prevails for months. Not so? That it, it's con con consistently dark or it's consistently bright, day and night sometimes. You see, in this region, the sun appears on Mesha Sankranti Day. That's the sun entering the sign of Aries and the sign of the zodiac, that is. The sun sets in this region on Tula Sankranti, the day when the sun now enters Libra. The movement in these two signs, there's an interval of six months when the sun moves north and moves south. And after the sun sets in Libra now, the dark half of the year starts. Swami, Bhagavan Sri Satya Sai Baba, tonight I quote from him. He says, today is Chaturudasi, I'm quoting, the 14th day in the moon of Kartik. This is the month of Kartik. It is the Amavasya, the new moon day. The month is called Kamuni. The people in the polar regions used to start lighting their lamps from this day. This was a few days ago. He says, as they would be in darkness for a very long time, Sometimes for days, could you imagine the sun not rising for 24 hours, 36 hours? It's con consistently dark. You can't tell day or night. It happens. It's real. They continued lighting their lamps. It was on the, pa the Pavli day devotees that Sri Ram's coronation took place. Many myths or many stories will say he, re he, uh, he returned from uh, Manbas into Ayodhya and Pavli. No, he came before, right? This is where, this is where now Sri Ram is being coronated. For a long period of time, Ayodhya had been plunged into darkness when Lord Rama was exiled into the forest. And in the absence of Lord Rama now, Ayodhya became a city of darkness. So to you and I, when the light is taken away or removed from us, we become a city of darkness. You can look at someone. You know, sometimes you meet some, some people and you, all you want to do is to hug them and stay, Baba. You just want to hug them and stay with them. But then again, you will meet some people. As soon as you see them, you want to run. You know anybody like that? I hope not. That is the darkness we speak about, right? You see, the forests that Sri Rama was in for 14 years, they were filled with light because wherever Lord Rama went, the trees bore fruit out of season. Mango trees were bearing fruit. And what happens when the trees bear fruit? They bow. Everything was bowing to Lord Rama. When he crossed the ocean, when his feet touched that bridge to go across the ocean, all the creatures of the ocean formed a canopy just to know that Lord Rama was, was, was putting his feet holy feet on the ocean. So you see, that is light. Today's festive festival sorry, is marked by other significant features. This is the day when Lord, in his Vamana avatar, Lord Vishnu in the Vamana avatar, he was sent, he sent the Emperor Bali to the Nida world, right? The Emperor Bali, he got a promise of, of a three foot ground measured by the Lord's foot from Bali. You know the story very, very well. Vamana avatar, the incarnation of Lord Vishnu, used the gift now of the three feet of land to put down the ahamkar or the ego, the egoism of Bali. You see, the Pavali is that festival which is designed to celebrate the suppression of ego by the higher self. We, you and I, we plunge into this darkness of ignorance sometimes and we tend to lose the power of discrimination. We can't tell right from wrong. A good example is some of the leaders or are some of the leaders in this world today. Not just leaders of countries, leaders of communities, churches, mosques, temples, masjids, synagogues. Sometimes the power sinks in and all they're desirous of is power. All they need seek is power. They forget now what's inside of, the, of their organizations or their people or their devotees. All they're concerned with is power. Who wants to, can I be president? I, I only want to, that's all I care about. You see, the Pavali, also signifies the day when the Vaman, sorry, Emperor Vikrama, Vikramaditya, he ascended to his throne. For man, for you and I, the heart is this container we speak about. The mind is the wick. Symbol is now. The heart is the container, the dia. The mind is the wick. Love is the oil. And vairag or sacrifice becomes the matchbox. And when you have these four, Atma Jyoti, the divine flame of the spirit, it shines effulgently. And when the light of the spirit is aflame, the light of knowledge appears and all of the darkness of ignorance goes away. 
Ignorance is lack of knowledge, you know. When you see people are ignorant because they are lack of knowledge, they lack of understanding. The flame of a lamp has two qualities. We'll see the flame just now in Banerjee lights the dia. Two qualities. One is to banish darkness. And the other is a continuous, the flame always goes up. You ever see a flame going down on light? If the wick is pointed up, the flame always goes up. What does this signify? Even if you put that lamp into a deep pit, or into a hollow cave, that flame always moves upward. What is the significance here? You see, the sages have therefore adored the lamp now of wisdom as the flame that leads you and I to the higher states. And the effulgence of light should never be treated as a trivial phenomenon. That has so much scientific value. That little dia that, that we light. So much scientific value. Along with lighting external lamps, we should also try to light a lamp within. We all have a lamp within, you know. We all have a lamp. Some shine brighter than the other. But how do we get our light or lamp to shine? It is by removing all of the negativities and instilling with the Shakti of the Goddess of Light herself, Shakti Devi Mahalakshmi Mata. Every time we develop or envelop darkness, there, there always are some, some instances where we will. We should always light a lamp and ever shining with him. Carry this lamp wherever you go and share it. You know, a beautiful bhajan tonight Glorifying Mahalakshmi Mata, I would like to ask all of you to blend our voices together as we sing Vishnu Priya Mahalakshmi, Teri Jai Jai Kaar. The chorus, Teri Jai Jai Kaar Jagat Me, Teri Jai Jai Kaar. Let us glorify it. Aani Shakti Devi Bhavani Shankar Mata Ki. Vishnu Priya Mahalakshmi, Teri Jai Jai Kaar, Teri Jai Jai Kaar Jagat Me, Teri Jai Jai Kaar. Thank you. 
माता महारानी की जय वी टेक नाउ अ लेसन टॉट बाय द करेज ऑफ नरक एंड बलि स्वामी टेल्स अस व्हेन मैन फेल्स टू अटेन हिज अटेनमेंट सॉरी व्हेन मैन फेल्स टू यूज हिज अटेनमेंट्स फॉर द वेलफेयर ऑफ अदर्स हेल्प अदर्स हेल्प एवर हर्ट नेवर he becomes a narakasu a hellish demon but when in a competitive race for individual glory he spends billions on getting to the moon and bringing back a little piece of rock or its crust instead of feeding millions who starve down below and promoting the prosperity of backward nations he is only con- condemning or contradicting himself even the best of things can be misused by men think about this how many rocket uh, launches have we had in the last year now we want to take people go up in space and come back down half a million dollars feeds of people feed poor people you better off you know ravan shishupala kans and other demonic persons mentioned in the indian or you know puranas they had great knowledge in ravan was a super smart fellow he mastered all of the puranas super smart but what 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 to what good what was the use of being having all that book sense he had very little common sense for fella didn't know how to use it he used it for the wrong reasons you see they could not even master or could not earn one skill the skill to suppress the ego every single one of them ravan kans shupala they all were like this that's why ravan had 10 heads you know what the 10 heads signify the nine negative qualities plus the the head of the, the actual head that's the ego big headed we say swell headed you know The lesson taught by the careers of Narakasur and of Bali is that one should master this ego if he succeed in the art of successful living. The Pavali is also a day dedicated to the goddess of riches. What is her name? Dhanalakshmi. Remember this name, eh? Dhanalakshmi. We celebrate the day as Dhanalakshmi Puja in many many states in India. You know some of the newspapers in India also they will highlight big celebrations. big headlines but riches devotees when one comes by riches think of it as having given been given the riches now in trust you have been given these riches in trust what you do with it will explain or will assure your your path to go back to atman avilyam to receive shakti or to receive bliss or moksha when people use their riches for parading their wealth as we say and i have to joke with with many didi and guy and show off right you use the riches for parading your wealth they become ludicrous they become specimens of humanity but how can wealth and scholarship knowledge shine except against a background of virtue simplicity and humility humility that's all it takes riches may come and riches may go scholarship may be acquired or may not be acquired but you see even joy may come and go so he says whatever happens we must never be unmoved we must not swerve from the path that he has chosen towards the goal tonight we ask diti to sing us another beautiful bhajan jai lakshmi kalyani jai lakshmi kalyani maya yeah? yes come back you have to come back in the middle and we are singing So now again I want to thank all of you viewers online and uh, after this Padaji we can we can start our harina prasad and then we'll go we go come on bhajan and then we go to aarti I thank all of you for tuning in our program continues now beautiful bhajan again by Didi Pam Ramsekal ji
And uh, I see the audience tonight totally enjoying your singing. Thank you, pardon. And uh, for those of you who have been commenting uh, online, that is, uh, on the beauty of the murtis here at Shiva Ganesh Mandir, let me tell you, you have to come and see them for you if you haven't done so yet. They are absolutely beautiful. The band Singh has done an amazing job with the members here at the Mandir in upkeeping these beautiful murtis, certainly, certainly very, very inspirational and very divine. And speaking about Shiv Ganesh Mandir, I'd like to ask and invite all of you to join us from December, Friday, December 3rd, uh, Saturday, December 4th, and uh, Sunday, December 5th for a three session Gyan Yagya. I will be officiating here at Shiv Ganesh Mandir along with some of the finest musicians and singers in Toronto. Uh, please join us 7 to 9 p.m. Uh, Friday and Saturday. And of course, we'll be celebrating the birthday of Pandit Ramji on Saturday. And of course, Sunday morning, normally you're 10 to 12 on Sunday morning? 10 to 12 on Sunday morning as well. So please do mark these dates in your calendar and uh, we'll be back here with you at Shiva Ganesh Mandir. Before we go into the, the actual uh, offering of Prasadam, of course, we, as I mentioned to you, we do a little offering of Prasadam and certainly Aarti at the end of the program here, so we'll prepare for that. Uh, short message tonight from Bhagwan Shri Sachi Sai Baba on the Festival of Lights. We call this the Festival of Lights. A story, you know. There was once a merchant who, while walking through the streets of Banaras, was suddenly confronted by two sisters who were frantically quarreling over the issue. Who was fairer? You know the story, who is the fairest of them all? So these two sisters began to quarrel, you know. But they were none other than Dhani Lakshmi and her famous sister Dharindra Lakshmi, the goddess of poverty. So the goddess of wealth quarreling with the goddess of poverty. Who is fairer? They struck down the merchant and they asked him to be the judge. Oh merchant, can you judge? Tell us which, of, which one of us is fairer. So they pressed, they pressed the merchant, you know, they pressed him to, to, to make, to pronounce now who is the fairest of them all. But the merchant feared to say that Dhani Lakshmi was fair. For them, the goddess of poverty, Dharitra Lakshmi, she might inflict some boons on him and make him poor. Poor fellow. He feared to declare now that Dhani Lakshmi was indeed the fair one. Devotees. So he devised a plan now to save his skin. And here's what he did. He asked that the sisters walk a few steps forward and then walk a few steps backward in front of him. And he stood silent for a while watching their slow, deliberate comings and goings, you know. And then he asked them to come near to him in order to hear his judgment. Here's what he said. He said, Dhan Lakshmi is fairer when she comes forward to me. Dharita Lakshmi looks fairer when she goes away from me. Listen to his gyan, now his knowledge. So how I can give a definite verdict? This was a very clever reply, framed to escape punishment. Better you should not change the face of truth to please people, the message tonight. Do not change the face of truth just to please people. Utter your mind. Speak your mind. Speak what is true. At the end of the day, we all have to report back to Bhagwan. Bhagwan knows it's true. We can hide from everybody else, but we cannot hide from God. This was the safest and easiest and most correct procedure devotees. And this is how a self-respecting man should behave. Nothing is more right than the truth. Do not play false to the God in your being. God is in every one of us and lead into evil through the fear of greed. March along straight and never deviating towards falsehood or trickery. 
Do not be attached by the glamour, the name, and the form, and the fame, and all of that. Look in the Atman with one pointed zeal. And this, Swami says, is the message I bring to you on this beautiful day of Dipavali. As we celebrate, Diwali is intended to teach us this lesson of light and love. Move out, trust, spread, expand, give up the limits of mine and thine, his and theirs, caste, creed, class, race. Share a limitless flow of love. And this is the culmination of all spiritual sadhana. To resolve on this celebration of the Pabali, let the light of the world shine once again. We have been dark, we have been dormant for the past 19 months. Some of us have been locked in indoors. We were trapped in India for, for what, three, four weeks, locked in a hotel. Hmm? Let the light now expand, share that light. Without a little lamp, Baba says, no auspicious ceremony is initiated. Think about this, whether it's a funeral, whether it's a puja, wedding, about any ritual, if a lamp is not there, Mother Lakshmi is not present, that has no shakti. You see her importance? God showers grace. God first, the world next, and then yourself. And that is a legitimate sequence for any one of us, any devotee, to attain salvation. You have to be one now or later, so that you can get liberated from the cycle of birth and death. My dear brothers and sisters, believe that all are God. God is in every single one of us. Make no mistake. Even then, compassion compels you to love and to serve and to serve selflessly. Believe that God is master and father and we are all his children and servants through bhakti. Even then, his command is to wipe the tears. Wipe the tears and nourish the sick help the lame to climb over the hill through pity and through sympathy. And this is why every single time we sing Sri Hanuman Chalisa, I always ask all devotees, channel this love, channel this spiritual healing to anyone you know who is sick and suffering. You'll be always blessed for this. Devotees, as we bring this katha to a close this evening, believe through faith and karma that God has to be adored through dedication even then, love says the highest form of adoration is by the means of seva. Think of the last time you did seva. What is seva? Selfless service. Helping the poor, helping the needy. I know of many projects, seva projects. Many, many to name. This month, this past month of October and into November now is our months of giving, giving thanks, giving praise. If you have an opportunity, please observe all health protocols, right? COVID protocols, with your mask and so forth. But if you have an opportunity, over the next month to feed the poor, the homeless, the, and orphanage, orphans, those that, are not, those that are needy, please do so. Now it's very simple. You can even go onto your, your cell phone with an app and you can order food and have it delivered. Groceries I'm speaking about, non-perishables, and have it delivered to a family. Let them know, of course, it's coming so they don't be surprised. Give help. There are a lot of people in this world who need help. If you can take once one over the next four weeks of the month of November, take one or two pieces of, of items that are non-perishable, canned goods, you know, grains, etc. Put it in a bag or put it in a box. And at the end of the month, take it to a family in need. Take it to a home, a shelter, and feed people. This is Seva, and this is what we do in this month of giving. You already had your Thanksgiving, right, in Canada? So ours in the States is the end of, end of November. It's a big, big celebration, huge, you know, weekend of, of festivals. But it's a time to give back, give back to society. Tonight, I end with this statement from Baba Swami. He says, love therefore is the breath of all of us. And he says, I call upon you to celebrate the Babali. Not by feasting and exploding firecrackers and all these uh, fireworks and all these things. And disturbing the peace and the animals. But by silently lighting that lamp. That lamp of lamps. Silently, through love and through service. Let the light of the Babali shine brightly in all our hearts, in our homes, and those that we love. Praying Sibal Bhagwan, Shri Sakti Sai Baba Ji Ki Jai, Adi Shakti Devi Lakshmi Mata Ki Jai, Pavana Putra Hanuman Ki Jai, Sakti Sanatan Dharma Ki Jai. Are you ready for the Prashadam offering? Okay, so we'll do, we'll have another Bhajan 
Didi Masu now will sing and then we'll go right into uh, offering Holy Prasadam. Please, uh, those of you online tonight, please share your, share your, your greetings, share your greetings and uh, wishing everyone tonight online happy Diwali and also those of you here so happy Diwali. If you uh, have just joined us, we are at the Shiva Ganesh Mandir here in Brampton, Ontario, Canada and uh, broadcasting live here. Um, and I will be back here on the 3rd, 4th and 5th of December for a three session Gyan Yakya. Those of you in the Fort Lauderdale area, please join myself and Pandit Kimaraj Singh at the Shiv Shakti Hanuman Mandir this coming weekend, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Panditji, Pandit Kimaraj will be conducting Friday night and Sunday morning. And I will, I'll be there on Saturday night, which is 6th from 7 to 9 p.m. Shiv Shakti Hanuman Mandir in Margin, Florida. I look forward to seeing all of you this weekend as well. Vidhi, beautiful.
Um, yeah, go ahead. Would it be okay to sing some Ajahn while you do this? Sorry. Yeah, Ajahn. Take. Yeah. While Padaji is uh, channeling Prasadam, we will do another Ajahn and then we'll go right into uh, our growing pulse of kindness. You all know this segment very well. And then we will cut into Aarti uh, by the time we are up to the hour of 9 o'clock. Thank you all so much for joining us this evening. And we will follow now Pandaji as we sing another beautiful bhajan. I will ask you to join me. Mata Rani ka dhyan dhari. The bhajan says, whenever we embark on any task, it is important for us to remember the mother for all of us to be successful in our endeavors. Victory to you, O Divine Mother. Whenever any difficulty surround us and life seems to be at a standstill, if we remember her with sincerity in our hearts and whatever we do, success will always be guaranteed. You, your form, O Mother, is that of one that's very, very pleasing. Ma, we ask and seek their blessings tonight. We ask you, grant us Shakti, grant us peace. Praying Sivalari Shakti Devi Mata Ki Jai. Matarani Kadhyanandhari Matarani Kadhyanandhari
Queen Day. Can I ask you all if you're Chaharan Parasad to hold on for a few more minutes until we finish here and then we'll go into Chaharan Parasad, okay? Just about five, maybe ten minutes at the most. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. We have a, we have a format that we follow for Shivoham, so we must stick to that because we have a couple more items that we need to. So why Panaji is doing the Prasadam now? I'd like to ask all of you to sit up right where you are. Sit in a comfortable position. If you are on the floor, just cross your legs if you're back upright and drop your shoulders. Remember, I told you to place your hands upwards like this on your lungs, okay? Because when the energy flows upwards, the body wants to float. Then we'll chant three times, we'll chant Om and then 21 recitations of Om Namah Shiva. Close your eyes, concentrate, breathe. Om. It says the meaning of this, the moral of the story is you cannot be the whole world green. There was a millionaire once who was bothered by two aches. He had two pains. One in his stomach and the other one in his head. So he had a headache and a stomach ache. He was diagnosed and treated you know, by a galaxy of medical experts, so many doctors. But he also consumed heavy loads of drugs and he underwent centuries of injections. That's not really eating legal drugs and medicine. I think it's the right to say. But the aches and pains, you know, it persisted. With great, it became more serious as he, as he went along. At last, a monk, a holy man, arrived on the scene of his pains. And he spoke very kind words to this gentleman. And he pronounced the fault now to be his eye. 
So can your eye cause headaches? Yes, it does. But what about stomach pain? What about your eyes causing stomach pains? Let's see. So, he says, set right the eye and the head on top and the stomach below will behave very sweetly. Let's see what he means by this. He says, to improve the eye, concentrate only on one color. We have a lot of blue in the mandir here tonight, right? He says, to set the eye straight, concentrate only on one color. Concentrate on green, he suggested. Do not let your eyes fall on red or yellow or any other color for that matter. <laughs> the rich man, he got together a group of painters now. He buy all the paint that they had in his store. And barrels of paint now. And he began now painting every single object in the kingdom green. When the monk came to visit him after a few days now, the wealthy man's servants ran with pockets of green paint and poured it upon the monk too. Because he wanted everything green. He was in a red dress, poor fellow now, his dress became green. Lest the master now see any other color than green, his eyes and his pain would come back. Hearing this now, the monk began to laugh and he said, If only you had purchased a pair of green glasses worth just a few dollars, you could have saved these walls and trees and pots and pans and chairs and sofas and a pretty large share of your fortune. You cannot paint the entire world green. You know, Baba Swami once said to devotees, He said, if you change the glasses that you currently look upon mankind or look upon your brothers and sisters with, and put on a glasses of love, put on a glasses that sees equality, there will never be any hate, any scorn, any greed. It will be love all and serve all. Questions for you tonight, as we always do. How did you feel as you listen to this story? Does it remind you of anything in your own lives? Devotees online as well. Do you look for changes outwardly only? Or do you also try to make changes inwardly? This is what Diwali is all about. This is what the Kathak In what changes? In lighting that light inside. Do you change your inner vision? Only these. I need the glasses to correct my external vision, but the glasses cannot fix the internal vision. That has to be that has to come from the mind. And we install Mahalakshmi Mata in our mind and that light illumines. It can only be brightness, no darkness. And this is where we can love and serve all equally. And finally, I ask you tonight, who from our scriptures inspires you the most? Think about this for a second. Who from our scriptures inspires you the most? Tonight, our learning lessons and quotes. How often do we try to change other people to make them see our way of thinking? And get frustrated when you refuse to change. But how often do we take a look at ourselves? And if we could just change our own outlook, change our way of thinking, change our own action, our change might motivate others to change as well. A wise man once said, you know, do not look for faults in others. Find your own faults first and correct them before you go looking for faults in others. This is the way to live, devotees. Beautiful story, beautiful morals indeed. Children, add another act of kindness and growing your strands of pearls as you are home. I want you to please say to everyone around you tonight, here in the Mandira, on this broadcast tonight, I love you. Come on. Yes, I love you. You see those three syllables, I love you? Look, all the paws, look. All the paws in my hands are, look. That's how powerful that is. Because it comes from the heart. And when you go before Ma, when you go before Ma with a tali this evening, before you start saying, oh, to your Ma, I say, Ma, I love you. And watch the tears flow from your eyes. Because it comes from your heart. It's genuine. It is genuine, devotees. I ask you tonight, what can you take? Take away from this katha tonight. But thank you, everybody on my list. I love you. I love you all too. Yes. Jai Shri Ram. What will you take from this katha tonight? And put it into practice. It's Diwali. Let's make a change. Let's install that light. Don't wait for next year. Next year may never come. Devotees. Chidananda Rupa. Shivoham Shivoham. Prem Sibuluga Janan Swami Ki. Jai Umapati Mahadeva Ki. Jai Satya Sanatan Dharma Ki. Jai Vakimindravan Bihari Lal Ki. Jai Adi Shakti Bhavani Shankar Mata Ki. Jai Prem Sibulu Bhagwan Shi Satya Sai Baba Ji Ki. Jai. To everyone celebrating their birthdays, their anniversaries, this past week or this upcoming week, I say to all of you, happy anniversary, happy birthday. Many of you I know. Next week, Tuesday, I believe it's the 9th of. 9th of November, we will be celebrating our 111th edition of Shivoham. 
I would like to also remind you that this coming Saturday in the Eastern Time Zone again, time or the clock goes back one hour, so we gain one hour starting this weekend. So those of you in the Caribbean, if you're tuning in next week, your time for broadcast will probably be at 8 p.m. You'll be one hour ahead of us. Yes, we'll be one hour behind you. So from 8 to 10 next week, for those of you in the Caribbean, and for those of you here in North America, it'll be regular 7 to 9 p.m. Um, we will also be going to, I believe, episode 112, which will take us to the middle of November. And then we are going to take a pause, we're going to break. Baba does need some rest too. So we'll take a little break for the holidays and we'll come back. By Bhagwan Kadarshan, sometime in January, we'll resume Shiva once. So we'll stop at number 112. Devotees, don't forget this coming Friday, November the 5th. Please join Pandit Kimraj and myself, Pandit Kimraj Singh, at the Shiv, Lake, Shiv Shakti Hanuman Mandir in Margate, Florida. Uh, and all, I will be there on Saturday the 6th. And of course, Sunday morning, Pandit will conclude the Yagya, free session Yagya at the Shiv Shakti Hanuman Mandir. On Sunday evening, I will be doing a virtual satsang this Sunday the 7th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the late uh, Srimati Subhani Bhauji Chan. And uh, please join me for a beautiful evening of Bhajan's Kirtan as we glorify the Banji Krishna in memory of this beautiful soul. Also, I would like to ask, invite one, one more time uh, on December 3rd, 4th, and 5th, right here, the beautiful Shiv Ganesh Mandir. Join us for a celebration, three sessions of Gyan Yagya, officiating by myself. And we'll be, on Saturday, we'll be celebrating the birthday of a very beloved Pandit Ramji. I ask all of you to please join if you can. Tonight, we are going to keep you back for a few extra minutes because we are now going to have uh, some, we're going to uh, listen to some greetings actually. Uh, we'll have Pandit Ramji firstly, and then Uncle Bansik will give us his greetings as well for the Pavali. And let me say on behalf of the Shivoham family, to all those who are here tonight, listening all over the world tonight, we say to you, happy and shubh Diwali. Don't forget, Diwali begins tomorrow night, Wednesday, the uh, 3rd of uh, November at 8.33 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it will end on Thursday, November the 4th at 5.14 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure your first DI is lit way before 5 o'clock, okay? Keep them lighting all night. Let me invite to the microphone now my dear brother, Shri Pandit Ramji. Pandit with a bit of short message. Then we'll have Uncle Bansi. Thank you, Pandit That was wonderfully done. Uh, devotees, my noble Sitaram, Pandit Ramji, Pandit Ramji, you have done amazing effort. Very enlightening. Devotees, as we're uh, imminently, you know, approaching um, the Pavali, one will examine, if one examines very carefully, the Hindu Panjan, the Hindu calendar, you will see it's saturated with religious observances. One of those most significant observances is the Pavali. As yes, you would have elaborated, expounded upon the meaning of the Pavali. Let us not wait until tomorrow or wait until next year to transform our lives, or want enlightenment. You know, I always believe that Ma Lakshmi, she gives wealth, Dhanya Lakshmi, as Pandiji says, she's the mother of wealth. She will give you as much wealth that you need in this life to perform your dharma. But one significant thing you and I must ask her, oh Ma, wherever we come in front of the Murti, Ma bless me with that spiritual wealth. As Pandiji, I would like to wear his katha a little bit. Where the, the, the king was told just by wearing a simple glass uh, made of green color, you can see things differently. My friends, sometimes, many times, we see things negatively. Just by changing our approach or our understanding of certain concepts in life, our lives can become brighter, our lives can become more prosperous and abundant. I would like to take the opportunity also to wish you on behalf of the members of this beautiful Shiva Ganesh Mandir, a happy Deepavali to you and your family, to the family of Shivoham. Thank you for joining us, and we are very much privileged and fortunate to be in your company. Praise for Adi Shakti Mahalakshmi Mata Ki. Jai. Let's bring to the microphone now Uncle Bansing Ji, who is the president, and he's the, he's the man here at Shiva Ganesh Mandir. Very hard working. Give him a nice round of applause. Come on. For so many years, Uncle Ji. Welcome. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. So, so the, the, the global audience tonight would love to hear from you, Uncle. Mahalakshmi, Mata, Ki, Jai. Devotees, as we are approaching one of the most auspicious times in the Hindu calendar, 
Deepavali. And we all should celebrate Deepavali, especially to, do, to Lakshmi Ma with great love and devotion. As Panji has said, love means everything in this world. When you tell someone you love them, it's a great honor to that person. And today we are very honored here in this shipping in Panjir, 16 Radian Road, to have with us here very noble, very handsome, very honorable and wonderful, a great Prime Minister King from Trinidad and teaching us so much great comment from the Puranas. So, Pandiji, we must thank you. May Paman always bless you, keep you healthy and strong and looking young and dearly as I have seen. <laughs> yeah. And we hope that you continue doing the good work that you're doing. And we have also Pandit Ram, who is our residence Pandit. He's doing a wonderful job. And you know, Pandit Ji, pretty soon he's going to get married, eh? <laughs> you know? Yeah, she's looking forward to celebrate his uh, wedding coming up. Devotees, once again, on behalf of the Shri Ganesh Mandir, thank each and every one of you for coming out tonight. And don't forget, as our Pandit Ji has said, and on the 3rd, 4th, and 5th of December, our dear Panditji will be, he will be doing the three nights, Gyan Yen. And I want each and every one of you to come out and listen to this Gyan Yen, because Gyan means knowledge. And there is where our Gyanshi will be expounding knowledge. And when we walk and we live as we go along, we will be more knowledgeable in this life. And that's what we need today. We need knowledge, we need love, we need need devotion, and that is what Pandiji is going to give us on 3rd, 4th, and 5th of December. So thank you so much, Pandiji. Thank the village. Thank you. Yes, yes, of course. Yes. Yes. That's right. <laughs> and we have, on the, on the, on the um, Hantar, we have uh, Vishnu. So much thank you, and hope to see you again, Pandiji. I'm looking forward for the 3rd, 4th, and 5th of December. Thank you so much, and you did a wonderful Qatar today. I've learned quite a lot, and I keep learning more and more from you. And as I said, Mahalakshmi Mata, one who worshiped Mahalakshmi Ma, believe what I'm telling you, from small I grew up, and that you'll always be very healthy, wealthy, and you will look so, as you grow older, you will look more young. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you. You can see the blessings of Durga Ma, Lakshmi Ma, they all, Absolutely. Absolutely. So thank you so much, and Chitara. Thank you, Uncle Van Singh. Thank you so much. Give a nice round of applause, please. So I know we have devotees that would like to chant Hari Prasad as well. So if we can do the Arti, and then we can do the first edition chant, right? So we have the local uh, virtual audience as well. So at this time, we will prepare now for final Arti. So please, if you all will please stand. You can sing along with us. You welcome to perform the Arati as well. Prem Sivalani Shakti Bhavani Shankar Mata Ki Jai Sajan Chavach Samayuktam Mahina Yojitam Maya Deepam Grahan Deva Shukre Lokyam Divinapam Yane Kani Chapapani Janmayantra Kitani Chara Nani Tani Dina Shanti Pradakshana Upadhi Mari Jai Ambe Gauri
Thank you all so much. Uh, I believe we have Prasadam Sucha Havida. You all can take your seats and uh, Panadrama will officiate there. But to all of you online joining us from near and far this evening, to the world we say to you thank you for blessing us with your presence this evening for the 110th edition of Shivoham. We look forward to seeing you next week, Tuesday, for our 111th edition. In the meantime, please stay safe, wear your mask, practice social distancing. And if you have not yet been vaccinated, give me a call. I need to speak with you. Love all, serve all, and have a blessed rest of the evening. And Shub Diwali, may the light of Mahalakshmi enlighten one and all. Koti Koti Dhanyabad. Until next time, Jai Shri Ram. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Pandit Ji. Thank you, Ji. I didn't expect, oh, 